that your 20? 20, yes. Uh, is there parking out here? Uh, I was just going to go in and out real quick. Uh, if you can find some here, otherwise parking's on the other end over there. We have around six Volkswagens. We have a double cab, a bus, and four bugs. So yes, it's kind of in my blood. Seventy-two Super Beetle uh, that I have uh, lowered. I uh, put skirts on. I built skirts on everything that and the Continental kit I made as well. I have uh, a uh, gear shift that I've made as well. I've done all the work on it. I originally bought it for my son, and he said he couldn't drive it stick shift. And I'm going. <laughs> so anyhow, I, I originally had a seventy-one Fastback, and it, I got hit total. So I took uh, the, started taking parts off of it and put on this. I put disc brakes on this and then done a few other things. And then I thought, well, everybody has this, looks like this. This looks like everybody else's car. And I prefer not to have something that looks like somebody else's car. I like trying to be able to find my car in the parking lot, so to speak. This was our 30th year together, uh, our 29th show due to a wonderful thing called COVID. Um, so we missed that year, but here we are at our 29th this year. Um, we do a Volkstoberfest, we do Toys for Tots, and we do um, anything else that comes our way. So we're, we're a group of friends that uh, enjoy the camaraderie of Volkswagens and the, uh, the friendship that goes along with it. When I bought it, it was already pink and I didn't have money to paint it. So I just ended up coming up with the name Pinky. And I started watching that movie Friday. <laughs> I got it and then that's where I got the idea from it. So I got wrecked into it and so I had to repaint it again. So I'm just like, go paint it again pink. It's like everybody in my, in the, like all my friends already know it by pink. It's like, why repaint it when everybody, why repaint it another color when it's already, everybody recognizes it by Pinky. And that's why I came up with the idea with it.
actually bought it out of Oregon, and it was a barn find. So it sat and it uh, came out of Oregon. It had the original engine, and I couldn't save it. So we actually just it came just like this, and it just sat. It was a it was a frame up restoration. So the person I got it from already had most of it done. Now tell me about the color. This is unusual, you were saying. So this is called VW Burnt Orange. So it's a stock color back in the day. So I love this color. I mean, it's called VW Burnt Orange. And was this original the color, or did you want to paint it this way? It was the original color, my understanding. I found it in a barn, it set for 20 years. I pulled it out of the barn and I had it for two years and stripped it all down to the pan. Painted it all in my garage and restored it to the way that it sets. Put, you know, all the goodies, line bug, air ride all the way around, front, back, side to side, interior, uh, candy brandy wine paint with uh, just Chevy white on the bottom. It's just been a fun little project. Volkswagen 1967 uh, Volkswagen Beetle. Um, I got it in uh, Watsonville, uh, California, and then uh, brought it to the shop. My brother-in-law decided to work on the on, on the car, and after two years, it make a beautiful, miracle uh, restoration of the car. And uh, very proud about it too. Uh, it's a beautiful gift from him, um, and I'm very thankful and grateful to uh, you know what my family do, do for me and. I'm happy to be here in Madeira, you know, showing the car, so it's a, it's a good time. friend of mine, Bruce B. Water, he built a lot of the stuff for it several years ago. He's passed away, but has a 2276 engine in it, it has uh, new gauges in it, and uh, a custom suspension in the front, shocks, and all that, swing arm. It was tucked in the garage for a while, but I just had a new engine built, and then we, uh, you know, got it going for the show now, so it's only been uh, going for about a week. It's got about 40 miles on the engine. Show has become uh, quite the camp out. 
Uh, it's become quite, it's well known for its swap. Uh, we, uh, we had a lot of overflow this year for the swap uh, spaces. Uh, we have vendors here uh, that sell brand new parts. We have folks that sell t-shirts and we have folks that uh, get all the greasy, uh, dirty parts that came off their cars and they come out here and sell them. And uh, everybody loves getting dirty and digging through boxes, having a fun time doing that. But, uh, you know, we uh, opened up on Friday and uh, we, we were able to open early, thank goodness. But we, uh, we intend to open at noon. We opened up early. We had 105 people lined up in the, in the parking lot. And uh, this year's event was a really large event and uh, we're very fortunate for it. There is no water uh, in the engine and you can work yourself and yeah, easy to find parts. My mom here, my brother and my dad who's shopping somewhere uh, all decided uh, to restore classic VWs this year and they're showing them off. So I came to support. <laughs> so do you actually own a VW? Personally, no, but by proxy, three. Just looking at the, looking at all the great Volkswagens out here. Owner yourself? Yes, 1966 Beetle. Well, tell me about that. Uh, it's something that you've had for quite some time, uh, a special interest. Interesting story. Um, we bought it from a neighbor across the street, and he bought it from the old lady that lived on the corner from him. She bought it new. So it's been within a stone's throw since it's, uh, since it's been bought new at the uh, dealership in Modesto. We've got folks that come in here from, uh, you know, Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, um, just you know, and it's 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 an, it's unbelievable how many folks we have coming from you know north end of the the state and the south end of the state to come here in the middle, meet in the middle for two and a half days of, of Volkswagen uh, fun, and that's what we that's what we're shooting to do is make sure that everyone is 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 having a good time, make sure that everyone's well accommodated. Uh, our camping is is fantastic. Uh, you know, we, we've had to have over at least 200 people out here camping this weekend. That's just an estimate, but, uh, but it's, it's, once again, it's, it's, it's all about family, fun, and friends, and it all circles around a Volkswagen that everyone smiles when they see one. And as I've said before, everyone has a Volkswagen story. I've had it since uh, oh, 01 or oh, 02, and uh, my kids, my oldest, are about to be 23 and 21. They, they grew up camping in this bus. Um, my wife and then my 12-year-old, my whole family grew up camping in this thing. Uh, when I bought it, it didn't have a back seat. Went out to pick a pole, found a late model camper bus that had a fold-out seat, full-length seat in the back, and the rest is history. Um, that's my little mini motorhome on wheels right here, you know? So what brings you out here? Um, the fun, um, all of uh, VW family, how everyone just gets along and have a good time. The camping. Well, tell me about the camping. What is it like to have a VW and use it for camping? It's really cool because we first started as uh, with a tent and now we have our 68 bus. So it's pretty cool because it has a bed. So it's fun, something different. It is 71 Volkswagen Catmobile, turned it into a chalkboard mobile. The whole thing sprayed with chalkboard paint, been doing it for about 20 years. And all the kids and the parents, by the end of the day, it's completely covered. So the messages change every year? Absolutely. And bring everybody together, everybody and anyone, all age, everything. Why are you doing it like this? It's a great question and I have no idea. It was a whim and I did it and it's only halfway there because next year it's going to be something completely incredible. Beer themed 10,000 beer bottle cap headliner. I'll leave it at that.
thing about a Volkswagen is, uh, you know, they, we used to have competitions back in the 80s and 90s that do a drop the engine out of your Volkswagen, you know, a contest and they would time it. And it was just super crazy how fast you can get an engine in and out of a Volkswagen. And, you know, the thing about that is, is when you drop them out, they're easy to work on. You got an oil leak, you fix it. You got a fuel leak, you fix it. You got a clutch problem, you fix it. So yeah, there's they're, they're so, um, the, the funny part of that is, is when I was a kid, they sold a Volkswagen engine repair kit and it was a rubber band in a bubble pack part box that showed a rubber band and it's how to fix your Volkswagen with a rubber band. So it, the simplicity is there. They were designed to be air cooled, easy to operate and easy to work on from you know, the get go. Um, you know, we, we, we laugh about it now. Uh, you know, you get older, your car still break. It's a lot harder to work on them as you get older, but you know, once again, we want to have the kids involved. We want the kids to be uh, uh, educated and understand how to work on these things as well. So that's what we're, you know, we're out here reaching out to the youth and uh, we're, we're definitely making sure that they're, uh, they're in the loop on how to work on these things. Luca B and Car Carmine B. Luca B. Carmine B. Carmine B. Luca and Carmine. Come on over, guys. Bring your cars over. Here. Okay, here we go. This one. Looks like Luca. Go ahead, Bill. Yeah. It's a 65 Carmen Gia. Um, done some work with the suspension to get it low. I think it's the fourth motor I've dealt with. You know, Volkswagen. Uh, they break down, but you still like it. I paid um, $1,800 for the vehicle out of um, Cool, California in uh, the year 2002. I uh, spent about four years doing a pan-off restoration. Um, so I've owned the car since then, and it's um, kind of like one of my kids. So have you owned a VW in the past? Yes, I have a, a, many VWs. Well, tell me about this one. Uh, this is a thing. Correct. What do you like about it? That it's unique. Um, you don't see a whole lot of um, things compared to all of the other Volkswagens that people drive. Um, I like that it's low. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the yellow when we, when we first painted it, but it's definitely um, definitely grown grown on me.
love this show. I love the people, and um, it's a lot of work, a lot of hours, and sweat and tears. I'm happy for that. I'm excited. It's my first time here. And uh, tell me about the vehicle. A lot of work. Um, cleaning it up. Yes. <laughs> I was not expecting it, so I'm, I'm really excited. It's something nice, yeah. I wasn't expecting it, though. Tell me something briefly about the vehicle. Um, I've had my vehicle for about three years now, and every time I drive it, I enjoy it, I love it, and it's my stress reliever. <laughs> this is actually uh, Mama's first car. She bought it in 97. When our son was born in 2007, I told her we're not going to drive a newborn baby around in this car, and it sat in the garage until May of 2022. And it's just been a little bit here, a little bit there, doing all I can to improve it and make it better. A long time project of yours? Uh, three years, uh, it's a 67 21 window bus, Samba. Yeah, it took three years to get it this way. I still have a lot of work to do, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. How many years have you put into this? Uh, a couple, well, actually only about three years. Three years. But lots of little stuff. It's always awesome. It's always an honor. It's always a pleasure. Bliss. Tell me briefly about the car. A lot of hard work. 1956. I did 99% of the work myself. Labor of love, my friend. I repainted it and changed everything, so I didn't feel like I was doing the same thing again. So I just finished swapping it all over. Yeah, I've had it for 17 years now. I've redone it twice. Um, I'm very grateful that it's getting recognition. About five years to make it, it was done about eight years ago. It was original built by uh, Frank Estrada, and I bought the build and finished it off, and it's just so pretty. It's a 1958 Carmen Ghia convertible. Uh, it was done in 19, or 2020. Uh, about four years old since it's been completed. I don't drive it a lot, so this is actually the second show that I've shown it at. I've had it for a little over a year. Um, started with a lifted dune buggy and I slammed it with different wheels and tires. Repowered it with a 2.5 Subaru and a batting gear and automatic transmission. Um, did the interior on it. Um, other than that, you know, what you see is what you get. Right hand drive, 1974 BWB. A lot of work. I bought it as just a body. This is like three bucks put together. Decided to make it like a Volks rod. But uh, yeah, it took me about two years to build, put together. But you know, that's the hobby and the fun of it. Taking time, enjoying, working on your hobbies. Coming here to this spot is just such a great spot, and taking it home an award is, it's, it's neat, but you know, there's a bunch of other ones that deserve them too. But it's fun though, I love it. It's a huge honor, this is the debut of the car, so we're really super proud. So tell me briefly about this vehicle here, something you chose to make it look this way, I take it. Yeah, this is a 1956 oval window bug. We wanted to go European racing, so we went rally car with this. Are you really happy about the award? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, I'm excited. It's my second prize. Unusual front seat and back seat. Yeah, they were comfier than they looked too.
I always like having a different car every time, and it's a, I, I like the oddball ones, you know. And I want to dedicate this to my dad. You know, this time last year, he had just come out of the hospital. He had a massive stroke, and he, he, he has dementia going on. And uh, he's doing much better now, and uh, I'm sure this will make him happy. So he got me into the VW scene, so this is dedicated to my dad, you know. I come out here every year because I had a 71 convertible uh, bug, and I had a 63 single cab pickup, which are now gone because I sold them because hit hard times and you need the money, you know. Married and two kids, they were little at the time. But uh, I love Volkswagen, it's, it's always been a favorite for me since I was in high school. And uh, I just come out here and salivate all, all over the Volkswagen stuff. I do toys though now, I do toys. I try to do the Volkswagen toys, but uh, no, it's a, it's a whole world in its own, you know. And, uh, one day maybe, I'm 70 now, so maybe one day, I'm running out of time, but maybe one day I might be able to get another one. I just want to thank everyone, uh, our sponsors, our vendors, our volunteers that we expect so much out of for being here, supporting this and making this a, uh, you know, annual viable event that we want to bring back each year so our friends and families can enjoy themselves. So. I want to just say thanks to everybody, uh, past, present, and future, and uh, really enjoy being out here with everybody.